Okay, question five. Let's take a look at it. One thing it would would be good if is if you pause the video, try this, and then continue after you're done, and we see what the answer really is. So don't take more than one and a half minutes to do it. The quicker you do it, the better. All right. So pause the video and do it, and then we come back. All right, so you've done it. What did you get? Let's see. Here, what we're looking at is two, then a square b in bracket cube. First of all, let's rewrite this. And there are some invisible multiple multiplication signs that we put in. 2 times 2 multiplied by a squared is really a times a. Alright? Let me rewrite that a. a times a. That's what it is. Times b cube. Alright. Well, guess what? Let's not simplify it that much as yet is a squared b or cube now the 2 is not cube so 2 remains there now what you can do is start eliminating wrong answers from early 2 is not squared it is not cube so c is out and d is out all right so you have to worry about a and b now work on finding out which is which it is now when you have a number to a power and it is raised to another power what you do is multiply the indices it's 3 by 2 which is 6 so quite quickly you can see that it would be B but and then B cube all right but then let's explain it further before we make a conclusion i can expand everything here so i have two times a squared is a times a all right let's not um, use multiplication sign that will be too much writing times b a by a by b but when you cube a number, it means the number, it means three of those numbers and they all multiply themselves. So if you have this, the open bracket a square b close bracket, that cube means it times it times it. Alright. So, alright, let me... Just rewrite this part as a square. So a square b. All cube mean a square b by a square b by a square b. Now rewriting them without the brackets. What it, and without the square. It means a by a. This is a by a. This is a by a. And this part is a by a. Then the b's now. The b, b, by b, by b. Now all of this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. You have 6 a's. When you multiply, it is a to the 6. Alright? So that's another way of getting the a to the 6. Just explaining it out by expanding everything. So definitely it's B. Alright. So the answer definitely is B. You can complete everything you want. But you wouldn't have time in the exam to do it. The B by B by B is B cube. And the A. The, the, the 2. It not af it's not affected by any square or cube. So it's definitely 2. There is 2a to the 6b cube. 
but remember in exam you have limited time so you know that 2 is not squared it's not q or anything so it remains so you can cross out c and d you can just forget about c and d those are eliminated from early a squared cube you multiply the indices 3 2 6 so once you have that done you know the answer is b all right